Mads of Dubsy Bricks and another episode of Building Gotham City and we're concentrating again on Arkham Asylum. So on this week off we've had a couple of deliveries come in from lego.com. The majority of the pieces are for Jabba's Palace with the tiles and these are going to potentially be used for the roof section and again for one of the towers. Got some arches in here for the sewers on Arkham Asylum but we're still waiting for the bottom half so we can't really use those at the moment and this lot here are a lot of uh, other parts for both gotham and also for jabba's palace so a lot of the tiles are there for jack for uh, gotham city and as you can see we've got the little one by one cylinders in there as well which are for the palace also had a trip up to the dublin lego store where we filled up four cups and uh, mrs dubsy bricks did a fantastic job of filling every little hole in the cup so thank you to her and uh, anyway let's get over to the city and make a start on this island and here's a progress update and we've got the first three cells in here uh, still got to put the beds in on the brackets at the back there and obviously all the glass parts in but uh, the color scheme on there quite pleased with it. it's not overstated it's uh, quite neutral and uh, yeah loving how it's coming on use the masonry bricks here um, obviously you turn back to front so you've got the masonry on one side and then just the straight line going across the back and again i thought it was a, another nice little just a little bit of detail just to break up all the grey on there but anyway let's carry on building and we'll check back in i just made a bit more progress we've put a snot brick in just in the middle of the room there and that's just so we can put a security guard we've actually got one door on because that frame already had a glass door in there so we must dig out all the others and we've put a little keypad on the each of the actual doors the other side will just be a plain window uh, the same with these uh, over here as well Need to put a lot of details on and do the stairs and things like that and the wall at the back there. And currently we're working on Mr. Freeze's chamber just down the end here. Now what we're going to be doing is we're going to be having some pipes coming up either side as if it's actually pumping the air, cold air into that room. And what we're also going to do is try and do some sort of like effect to make it look like there is ice in there as well. It's using the trans blue so hopefully it won't look too much like water as opposed to ice but uh, I'm sure we'll pull it off. Anyway, let's get back to building and we'll check back in once we more progress. And here we have Hugo Strange and Aaron Cash just keeping an eye on the inmates in the lower prison cells. So really pleased with how this has come out. Obviously you still need to put the glass elements on and then the little keypads on the glass as well. But uh, yeah, all pretty much done down here. Still need to do a generator in here, which will be what will pump the cold air into Mr. Freezes. But all in all, really pleased with how this has come out. With the back here, we've put some three by one tiles just here and here. And the reason for this, we could have put the curved tile on there. However, this element in here and here wouldn't have been connected to anything so quite easily could have fallen over got knocked over so this way by putting the six tile across there is connecting all three of them together and then these tiles at the back here are connecting all to the wall so it's all one solid unit now so i think it's probably better to do it that way so all right it might not look as good as sharp but uh all in all quite pleased i might move the studs where the minifigures stand so that when you were looking from here you're seeing it more like that instead of sort of like as was before um, because at the moment i think by having the stud one or two studs back you can't really see the minifigures that easily now on the top here you can see we've tiled all of this so that's where the next floor will sit there'll be a hole in the floor here obviously for where the stairs come down and it's just going to rest in place basically and the idea is that like the walls here will stop the next level up moving anywhere so we just need to put something over here on these studs as well maybe some more rock work or something like that but all in all it's i think this technique's going to work well we're not going to have the problem with uh, the sort of like we have with the fire station where it doesn't line up properly i don't think that's possibly going to happen with this mock fingers crossed anyway what we're going to do now we're going to move this back over to the city table bring the next quarter of uh, the island over and make a start on that one and here we have the killer croc area so as you can see we changed the bricks out a little bit here so we put a couple of splashes of different colors in on the brickwork and uh, the tiles we have put the grill tiles down on both sides here and again used a mixture of different colors just to give it that sort of like worn effect on there so just waiting for the trans tiles to arrive and obviously all the parts to do the sewer, sewer section bit just there with the bricks down there we've gone for the dark tan and that's obviously the sewage is sort of like splashed up and stained 
the brickwork on there so I thought that would be a good effect on there. We've raised this entire area around the edges by one brick to bring it closer to the level of the other modulars so all we need to do now is just fill in this little gap here, plate off the top area, put some tiles down and then we can move on to the next section. And there are the two sections next to each other and uh, yeah really pleased how it's coming on. Can't wait to just get those last few bits in from lego.com so we can get this entire section all completed. Anyway, let's move on to the next section, which will be this one here. As you can see, I have found out small black plates. We've got the whole of the water area all finished. So we're going to just work on that one now, get that all plated off, and then we'll go from there. Last week I mentioned I wasn't happy with the sewage pipe sticking out and going below the water line there. So as you can see what I've done, I've raised it up by one brick and two plates. So the whole of this sewage system in here has had to be raised as well. But at least now when the pipe comes out, it's going to be above it. And uh, it's, I think it just looks a lot better. I haven't got the pipe in there at the moment because we're still waiting for a few bits to come through. But what it does mean is all of the sewage pipes leading up to the back cave section, they're going to need to be raised as well. And that's three sections done on the on the mock here. As you can see, we've still got that part all sort of like uh, uncovered. And the reason being, we need to, we're still waiting for the parts coming from lego.com. Once they've arrived, we put it all in place. We can sort of like place over the top of that and then that'll be permanently closed. The section here, going around here and along here, is going to have a road which will be done using a snot technique. There is going to be a sort of like a section where a vehicle can reverse into that part there to unload um, some of the prisoners. But again, I'm not sure how I'm going to do that, whether I'm going to I'll probably tie all the floor and then it sort of like transitions onto the brickwork on there. On this section here, I've removed a couple of bricks and I've put a tile on here. And the idea is I'm going to be able to clip another section onto here, onto the bridge. So it's all sort of like interlocked basically and then we can just put a tile over the top of it to hold it all in place and that's what the Technic pins are also there for. But yeah happy with how it's all coming on. So what we need to do now is the final section here and that one's the one with the back cave in and because we've raised, raised the sewer sort of like pipes on here for the exit part we need to raise the pipes up on there before we can carry on doing any work on there. So we'll uh, get that over to the table get working on it and we'll check back in once we make some progress. And that's the final section pretty much done. We've still got to do a little bit of rock work to go up here and then the two sections which are going to be the removable ones um, so you can sort of like see inside the sewer pipe and inside the bat, bat room. The this, We decided to step this up because my thoughts were that if there was any sort of like uh, water or sewage sort of like coming through the last thing batman would want to be doing is obviously stood in it while he's at the computer terminal or whatever else so i thought stagger it up and then if there was any problems like that it would realistically you wouldn't have the problem sort of thing now somebody did suggest leaving this all covered over so it's like a bulkhead sort of thing however I am going to continue to put the 4x4 four four, um, plates in which you've got the cut section out of it because what I've done is I've put a door here so you just slide that along and then that will cover over the door but that will sort of like show once we have put the correct parts in this section here. So let's take this over to the city table and we'll see what the whole lot looks like. And here is Arkham Asylum with a lot more work done on it. So it's been a very productive weekend, sort of like all of the sows finished off there and getting this completely ready now for the modular building to go on top. We need uh, to still sort of like do this section here and just there. And that's um, just waiting for those parts to come in from lego.com. The rock pieces, hopefully I'll get those done in the coming week. But what we're going to do next is we're going to sort of like uh, do the floor plan here. So this section here, going back there. That's all of what Arkham Asylum, the actual main building is going to be. And there will also be a, a sort of like a smaller section just off here as well. So I suppose it's almost going to be like in a in an L shape. And then this section here is going to be the car park. And I'm thinking about this section here. Um, that's going to be like an, an exercise area. So hopefully it's all going to work out well. It's certainly, it's certainly coming together. So I'm really pleased with the amount that we've managed to get done this week. I was originally hoping to sort of like get the the actual layout of the ground floor started however i decided to concentrate on getting all of this as finished as possible before starting the next section 
Anyway, that's all we've got time for this week. If you enjoyed the update, please give us a big thumbs up. If you haven't already did, done so, please consider subscribing to the channel and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any future content on the channel. And please share it with family and friends. Anyway, thanks for coming on by. We'll see you next time. Bye for now.